My name is Earl Brown, training from SWS Fight Club over in Windsor. My name is Jake Boswick from South East London, fighting at Semtex Gym. I'm fighting Jake Boswick. I heard you've been speaking a lot of bad things about me, Jake. Thanks a lot, mate. Most appreciated. Don't really care. I'm going to let my actions speak in the ring, mate. Earl, I know your game tonight, but hey, I'm on another level, and tonight I'm going to bring it. This is the young versus the old. Nearly 20 years between them. But Earl Brown is a warrior, and you've got to really put him away to end this fight. Jake Boswick has got the tools, but can he use them? Ladies and gentlemen, this is an ultimate challenge at middleweight bout. So please welcome your first fighter to the ring. He is representing SWS Fight Club, Earl Brown. So Earl Brown coming to the cage. Nothing new we can say about this man. We love the fact that he brings it each and every time. Certainly doing a very, very tough fight tonight. I have a feeling this fight will barely touch the ground. I could be totally wrong, but both these guys love to stand and trade ever. Earl Brown, we know, likes to keep it upright, very versatile, very durable. And as you said, you know, we repeat ourselves with Earl Brown because this guy just brings it and brings it. Now welcome your second fighter to the ring from Semtex Gym, Brutal Jake Bostwick. So right, here he comes, Brutal Jake Bostwick. And Pierre, again, another man we know very well, a real vet years of age. He's 20 years of age, but I tell you what, he's been in with some of the best that the UK has to offer. And his experience far, you know, far outweighs his age. And you can tell that when he gets into the ring. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm a Jake Boswick fan. I've seen him develop, and he's actually a top-tier fighter here in the UK now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is sponsored by ScribbleInkTattoo.com. And this bout is in the ultimate challenge at middleweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the red corner. He weighed in at 83 kilograms. He has a professional record of 13 wins with seven losses. Representing SWS Fight Club, Earl Brown. And now welcome his opponent in the blue corner. He weighed in at 84 kilograms. He has a professional record of eight wins and eight losses. Representing Semtex Gym, ladies and gentlemen, Brutal Jake Boswick. Hey guys, fellas, you've been here before, you know the score, yeah? Any questions for me? I text up at all times, that's what I'm saying at all times. If I tell you to stop, you stop. Touch gloves, get ready for war. Jake Boswick, far more comfortable on the ground, moving his man towards the cage. But for me, a 50-50 round. Now, you see the big shot thrown by uh, Boswick on the replay. He's trying to, you know, he's trying to close that gap to throw that heavy shot. Earl Brown, look, he doesn't stop. And he was rewarded with a takedown for that earlier clip. Now, again, Jake Boswick in that guillotine position, which he found himself in quite a few times. So he's going to have to make an adjustment because you don't want to lose uh, a round or even the belt by doing silly things. And that head movement, beautiful. Jake just unable to capitalize on that position. Oh, did a fantastic job. Just covered his head and moved sweetly. But that slam, that was huge. And as you said, Pierre, does that slam and the end of the round sway in Boswick's favour, do you think, with the judges? I, I would have to say, me, I'm going out on them. I would say that Boswick edged it in the last 10 to 15 seconds of that round. Uh, so I have it ahead, 1 to 0, oh, Boswick. So round two coming up. Very, very tight fight. We think towards the end of the round, Boswick in ascendancy. I will say one thing that I'm impressed with. Both guys look like totally different fighters, even from their last bouts. They've, you know, they've evolved. I know we keep using that word, but I mean, there's not a more perfect word for that. Look at these guys. Nice jab by Boswick. And Rob, when we talk about evolution, Jake Boswick in fights before we've seen at the end of the first round, very tired. He still looks so fresh here. That's right, improved on his cardio. Again, you know, we say the word evolution a lot. But since the early 90s, if you look how the sport has come on, it's come on in leaps and bounds. It's completely different from how it initially began. And right now, Boswick and Earl Brown, two of the UK's top fighters going at it. Now, Jake's looking to land uh, that jab. And I think that uh, Earl Brown is looking to counter punch. Look, wow, I'm stuttering. It's so beautiful. That is, I mean, the head movement, missing those big shots. I dig that. He didn't miss that one, though. It got through <laughs> finally with Bostwick. The aggression playing, paying off here. 
And do you know why he's beginning to mix up the kicks with it? He's beginning to make Earl think a lot more than just those heavy hands. That was a nice jab by Boswick, giving Earl something to think about right now. Earl feeding out the jab of his own, not quite landing, just using it as a range finder. Boswick, solid again, the way he bases on his legs, looking for that big shot, and it's there! Beautiful knockout! Unbelievable work by Jake Boswick! The clipping right hand, and Earl Brown goes to sleep! Do you know the thing there though, Pierre? After he landed, he went for the hammer fist again, saw that, Jay, um, that Earl was out and took a step back and raised his hands. A new maturity from Jake Boswick here. Left hook, he slips the right, bobs and weaves out of the other, another left hook, pushes him up against Cage, show button, and bang! Big right, overhand right again. Now look here, the hands are down, Jake Boswick eyes it up, boom! And it's off the jab of Brown. I'm telling you what, guys, that is boxing at its best. Power, overhand right, ends Brown's evening, and I tell you what, that was a well-deserved knockout by Jake Boswell. This young man, Rob, is really maturing fast. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 27 seconds of the second round, we have a winner by the way of knockout, Bruto Jake Boswell.